is opening day at the Indiana State Fair, and there's a new ride at the Midway, which just opened about an hour ago. This after the Department of Homeland Security spent yesterday and this morning making sure the rides are safe. And new this year, the Sky Ride. Governor Eric Holcomb uh, cut the ribbon on the new ride during the opening ceremonies and was the first to ride along with his wife. Uh, he says the rides are closely examined every year, and this year is no different. And everyone should have 100% confidence that uh, all, every single one of the rides, every bolt has been expected. So, yes, come out, have some fun. So the new Sky Ride runs down Main Street, about 35 feet above the ground. It costs $5 for a one-way ride. And the fun doesn't end on this new Sky Ride. There is a schedule filled with different activities for the whole family. And, of course, there's the food. We love the food. Joining us live from the Indiana State Fairgrounds with more. Hey, Brenna. <laughs> Hey, Phil, it's a beautiful day out here, and it is 12 noon at the fairgrounds. That means the Midway is opening up for those riders. You see there's a line forming behind me of people looking to buy tickets for the Midway. Now, I don't know if you saw our coverage yesterday, but we did talk about those ride inspections after the disaster in Ohio. These inspectors said that they are facing some extra scrutiny this year. In fact, that's the word they use themselves. Now, just a few minutes ago, I talked to an inspector who said that the majority of the rides have been inspected and passed inspection. He did say two or three of them are not yet approved. Now, we don't know if that's a time constraint issue or if they actually failed inspection, but he says that, of course, those rides that don't have the stamp of approval will not run. But there's the Midway at the State Fair. There's a lot of other things to see here. I've got somebody joining me now. This is Sharon Smith with the Indiana State Fair Public Information Office here, Communications Director. Sharon, what a great day today. It's beautiful. We could not ask for better weather and we're so pleased. What have you seen so far? The fair's been open just a handful of hours. Tell me what you've seen. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to get our balloons off the ground this morning, but then the uh, clouds went away and the sun came out and we've just seen the crowds coming in and enjoying everything we have to offer on the first day of the Indiana State Fair. You know, a lot of people have been talking about the weather. It's wonderful out here. What can folks look forward to if they come out to the fair today? Okay, well, our theme this year is the wonderful world of food. So today is uh, our, our featured food is deep fried food. And that tends to be a fair favorite for a lot of folks. So today you'll see um, a, a lot of uh, sampling of some uh, fair foods that are deep fried. Uh, one of the favorites seems to be deep fried peanut butter and jelly. So you might want to try that. Um, and then every other day of the fair, every, every day during our 17 days of the fair, we'll feature a different food as well. What's one thing you wish more people knew about the state fair? Uh, I'd say that there's just such a variety of things to do, whether it's the uh, Chev Chevrolet Silverado Free Stage. We have uh, live entertainment every evening during the fair, uh, a wide variety, gospel, rock, um, Hispanic, uh, just so much to see and, and do. You do want to go to our um, mobile app and download that when you come out so that you can experience all that we have to offer as well as help you get around the grounds as, as well. It's a great asset. All right, this is 2017. You got to have the app, right? You do. You do. <laughs> all right, Sharon, thank you so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you and we're glad to be here at the fair today as well. We're going to be here live all day, so be sure to check back at 5 and 6 o'clock to find out what we uncover at the State Fair. Reporting live, Brenna Donnelly, 24-hour News 8. All right, we're jealous of you, Brenna. Thank you. Uh, happy